Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here with another game trailer reaction. Uh, someone recommended me to check out the trailer at Dead of Night. Um, I don't really know anything about it. I think it's like a creepy horror game, which seems to be my thing. So we're going to check it out and see what it's about. Um, I don't know anything about the game, so let's just jump into it. See what we got. Where are you? You all went off and left me behind. With all the pizza and food channels around, just say to another. Ah, Maya, I presume. Oh, don't be alarmed. Um, that looked interesting. It's more, it seems to be kind of like, um, there's some game that I've seen people play where you're like a guy that was raised in a nuclear bunker. And so the game is kind of like a movie, but you're, you know, controlling the options stuff. And that kind of looked like that. It's hard to tell with the gameplay and everything, but it looks like it's supposed to be super realistic, which is very, very interesting. Um, and the fact that you were both ghost hunting and being hunted by a psychopath who has some secret is an interesting combination. Um, you, I guess, have to be outrunning him. And I don't know if maybe you got to outrun ghosts too, or maybe they're more on the friendly side because maybe he killed them or something. Um, maybe he's the reason the hotel's haunted. Uh, you know, who the hell knows? What is his big secret besides the fact that he's a psychopath? Um, is he afraid you're going to go to the cops? Uh, why do... What makes you think he has a secret in the first place? You know, there's a lot of questions that the trailer leaves for you to answer in the game. Um, I really liked the fact that it looked more realistic. And it kind of reminded me of, like, Phasmophobia, where, you know, you're hiding... Um, you know, you're, I guess, the box is probably the way you talk to ghosts, um, old school style. So that, you get a little bit of a Phasma vibe, but then you get some, because you're running around places and finding things, you get a little bit of amnesia, just based off the things that I've played recently that it kind of gives me a little feeling about. Um, but... Yeah, that looks, it looks very interesting. Um, played the medium recently where you're running from, you know, a spooky creature trying to solve a mystery. But I think the fact that it's human trying to kill you, well, to me, would be creepier than anything like a, a zombie or any type of creature like that. A human 
makes it feel more real because you know there's psychopaths in this world and you never want to run across one of them you don't want to run across a serial killer which is what he might be he might be a serial killer um so it's got a good mismatch of stuff i would say just from looking at that trailer so i'm definitely going to put that on my steam wish list um to play at some point i've got a whole slew of games to play but i think i definitely want to play this one it looks very very interesting um i mean you get with all the titular the red the it just looks like a Don't be alarmed. Not necessarily. I mean, like, some of it doesn't look like it's, you know, the acting isn't necessarily the best. Like, you know, that, but it's a game. What, what do you expect? Um, you know, peeking through the door. <laughs> Um, I guess the things that you pick up will be clues. And there's the ghost box I was talking about. Yeah, ghost voice receiver. Ghost and spirit voice receiver. So I s assume you'll be running around trying to talk to the ghosts. But do you take old Jimmy, that's his name right, do you take old Jimmy out in the end? You know? Or do you go to the cops? What? I don't know. I'm just very... I'm very I presume. Uh, don't be alarmed. I'm alarmed, man. I'm alarmed. I'm alarmed by you, dude. Mm. So anyway. I think I'll be playing this game. Look for it on the channel sometime soon. I'm not sure when. I have some other games I want to play first. But at dead of night. On my list to play. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, be looking for my VODs. You can catch me on Twitch at Solidary Spark, And I hope to be doing more game trailer reviews um, on the channel in the future for things that, you know, look interesting to me. I'm not going to just review anything, but, you know, so things that look like something that I would actually play. Um, so, until next time, bye.